Hello and welcome to this video on blueprints where we're going to be taking a look at setting up a basic weapon that can fire. So uh, before we are jumping into Unreal, I just want to show you the uh, actual mesh here. So I have a mesh with a bone and uh, I have skinned this weapon to this bone here. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to input this as a skeletal mesh and that's going to allow me to add a muzzle flash where we can set off the uh, firing trace. And the other thing to note is I've also set the pivot point to where I want the player to be holding the gun. So, uh, let's jump into Unreal. I have already set up a full structure. I have weapons and inside here I have meshes and I've inputted uh, two guns here. Uh, I have textures, I've inputted textures and I also have um, a weapon blueprint where I have just this basic weapon set up just to show you. So, let me just open up the gun we're going to be using and I want to go over here. Let's just pull this out as a floating window. And let's just place this in here. Okay, so uh, this is our weapon we're going to be using. So let's just save this. So there's uh, what I want to do is I want to go to skeleton. And you see we have this bone 001 from Max. I want to right click here and I want to choose add, um, add socket. So we're going to call this muzzle flash. And I'm going to press space bar to move through there. Oops, transformation. I want to make sure this is selected. And we're going to move the muzzle flash to the end of the weapon here. So let's do something like that. So this is going to be used um, uh, both for particle effects if we choose to add uh, like a flash at the end, but also um, where the uh, weapon is going to fire from. So we can save this. And let's close this. Now I also want to jump to character and I want to open the ASP character and um, let's just select the mesh here and I've done the same thing here a little bit different let me just uh, find this okay so if we go to finding content browser what you can see is that if I go to skeleton and I select the hand you can see I've also set up another socket here that says weapon. So let's see, I can right click this and set this up again. So right click, add socket, weapon. Okay, make sure this is selected and uh, go through the transformations. Oops, make sure it's selected. And we just want to move the socket to where we want the gun uh, to be held. So I'm going to go with something uh, like that. So we can save this, close this down. So uh, let's set this up. We're going to go back to the um, ASP uh, character and compile this. Okay, so let's go to blueprints. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to blueprints. I'm going to choose actor. I'm going to call this BP underscore weapon underscore zero one. And we're going to choose add components. And let's go, I'm going to scroll all the way down and add a scene and type root. So we've seen it's just an empty container. Um, just imagine it more of a sort of dummy. And then we're gonna go add, con uh, add component and gonna type in skeletal. So we've got a skeletal mesh. And we're gonna type this weapon on this called zero one. So um, what we can do is scroll down and we wanna add the weapon. So weapon zero one. And now we have the gun inside here. So we compile this and we have the, the basic of this blueprint set up here. So what we want to do now is go to the character and we want to add this weapon uh, to the character here. Now adding it inside the blueprint doesn't mean that the character will um, be holding the gun in the game. Instead we have to set it up in the graph. However it's going to give us a uh, visualization and, um, and a few extra things. So in order to do this, we're going to go to add component. Now, instead of adding a skeletal, a skeletal, a skeletal mesh, we want to go down to where it says child actor and type in weapon underscore zero one. Now, a child actor, uh, looks like we already have one set up here, so let's do that again. Add a component, um, child, and we type in weapon underscore zero one. So a child actor is just a way of adding a blueprint inside another blueprint here. So let's um, click none, type in 
weapon and at the weapon zero one so here is our uh, weapon which looks a little big however we can move this up into place and check this out yes yeah, so this is definitely way too big we need to scale this down by 200 percent so and um, what I'm going to do is um, pause the video and then I'm going to go scale this uh, weapon back down in max and bring it back in uh, as that's going to make sure a better result. If we actually scale this inside here, um, it won't show inside the, um, inside the game properly. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so we are back here. I've just um, scaled the weapon down. If you if you have the problem, you have to scale the the, the weapon. Um, don't forget to reset the X forms of um, the uh, mesh before you do that. Otherwise, you may get some weird issues inside here. So let's just uh, have a look how this is um, coming along inside here. So we can move this forward. And so you can see this is uh, somewhat of how uh, the character is going to hold this uh, weapon here. So, even though we have uh, places in here, if we uh, right click and, and play, so if I just click play, you can see that even though the weapon is in his hand, it's not it's not actually attached to the hand properly, you see, as we, as we move around. Um, the hand's moving, it's not in the right location. So, let's uh, go ahead and uh, set that up now. So, in order to do this, um, what we need to do is we need to jump over to graph. And um, uh, this time we need to be inside the construction script. And we want to scroll down here and we see we have this weapon zero underscore zero one. This is uh, what we just created. So we're going to pull this out and choose get. And we're, also, we're going to click and drag from here. And we're going to type in attach to. So we can attach this to. And we can plug this in over here. And for the for the in pawn we want to get the mesh so let's click and drag this out and type get mesh so we get now play mesh now this is one of the important parts it says in socket name so if you remember inside the asp character we set up that socket um it was called let's see where is it if, if we go inside here um not here uh, inside the character we set up that socket, it was called weapon, if you remember. So we'll just type weapon in here. And we want to set the attachment type to snap to target. So it's going to actually snap to um, this uh, weapon, uh, this uh, socket. So we can compile this. And now if we right click and choose play from here, what you can see is uh, we have that gun attached. Now it looks like it has been flipped around so we'll have to go ahead and uh, fix that in uh, just a moment so let's go ahead and uh, do that now Oops. so to do that what you need to do is um, jump back to the weapon inside your 3d program and just just rotate that round that's going to be the easiest way so um, I have already rotated this but what I need to do is if if we go back to Unreal, let's just check something. Okay. So that's fine. We have everything set up. So what you need to do is rotate your weapon and um, set that up. Uh, uh, Re-export that and you should be fine. So now you can see we can run around and um we have this uh weapon let's see weapon so you see now it's attaching to his hand so when he when he moves he moves and he left it's right now i don't it looks like as if it's not holding on to the hand that could be the pivot point problem but for now this is looks fine so as we move around he's uh, got the weapon and he holds up and shoots so what we're going to set up next in the next video is the um the uh, shooting mechanism so thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video